Hey, it's streams in the desert. It's also one sunny day. And it's going to be one warm day. Uh, fortunately, we're going to do a little bit of reset out here on the porch. Because <laughs> it gets to be 100 degrees where I'm living. And on this porch, it's gotten up to 115 and 120. Quite a bit of sun. It becomes a sweat box. Me, if I want to sweat, <laughs> I can think of a lot of other ways than just sit around and doing it. I haven't quite come up with a sweat, a sauna. Christian lady to her one day. It's well enough to be happy now. I should think No one else should give you anything to do. Or suppose stop, cried Nancy. I never supposes. The Lord is my shepherd, and I knows all I shall not want. And honey, Supposes as to making you You better give them all. Emotional is better to get it. trust all way. I'll bear the sorrow that comes tomorrow, but I'll borrow none today. Tomorrow's bridge is a dangerous thing. I dare not cross it now. I can see its timbers sway and swing, and its arches reel and bow. Oh, heart, you must hope all way. You must sing and trust and say, I'll bear the sorrow that comes tomorrow, but I'll borrow none today. as to how it is to cross rivers. Well, that's kind of like what a lot of people do. They think about it. They make their plans, they have their choices, they determine their directions, and then they worry about it. I have a sister, if this were true, who inherited all the worries that our family could possibly have. I mean, when it came to worrying, my sister Mary Lynn was the ultimate worrier. She had to know and had to keep track of every little detail in your life so she could worry about it. And of course, I'm the first one to get saved in my family, and I drove her nuts, <laughs> and I still do. Well, the members of my family all got saved, slowly, and they've been saved a long time now. She still is concerned at times, but she's gradually learned to trust in the Lord. 
And isn't that what it's all about, is trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not into thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. If that's true, if that's real, if God is real, and you say he is because, really, you call yourself a Christian, of course he's real. But sometimes we need to live like he's real, that we do trust in him, yeah. that we do commit our way unto him, and we know he'll take care of it. Because once you do, then whether prosperity or poverty, whether health or sickness, whether life or death, Almost anything that comes your way, <laughs> even the, the agonies and the ecstasies of childbearing, when grown up that you see that they did return back to the Lord as you raised them, then you know that you can trust in the Lord. And the older you get, the more that you read your devotionals, the more that you study the Word, the more that you walk with your God every day, the less you worry. And the more that you can say, I will not fear what man may do, for God is with me. May God be with you today.